All right, guys, we're going to do a quick video on protecting your nods. So here we have a good example of a cheap way to do it. You can find these nod protection, Eagle Industries, uh, let me find the proper name for it. Protective insert for night vision. Dirt cheap on eBay. I think I got a two pack of these for, it was under 20 bucks, dirt cheap. And they fit right inside, either this is an M60 pouch or even a canteen pouch, they'll fit right inside. But there's one problem. It's pretty bulky and I don't know that you need all this. So, here you have the pouch. As you can see, it's pretty, pretty thick. It's a thick boy. That is not a child. That is a goat. It's not a child. Okay. For a representation of how thick it is, this, that's two 308 nods. This is a smoke grenade. That's that nods insert. It's pretty damn thick. Now, you can either do this, have this nice, thick insert, or you can do what I was just talking about. Cut it like this, or take the long side and cut the little plastic and make an L if you're really worried about protecting the bottom. I'm not too worried about that. I don't even know if you necessarily need this to protect your knots. I've never broken my knots. But yeah, if you just put that flat piece in there, take your knots or whatever you're trying to protect, put them in there, and buckle it up. Bam, it's a lot slimmer compared to what it was, you know, sticking out probably like that. Now you can cinch it down a lot more and it's fitting just about as wide as that smoke grenade pouch instead of taking up all that extra room. I guess the next question is, do you even need this? Well, I'm going to use it. But also, I've never broken my knots. And for nine years, I just carried my knots in a canteen pouch tied down with 550 cord. And they never broke. Never broke a J-arm either. Low crawling, three to five second rushing, all of it. Never broke my knots. Do you need it? I don't know. I'd like to have it because uh, these aren't government issued. I paid for them. So I'm going to have it. Uh, some other considerations. <clears throat> as far as padding for the back, do you need this? That's what the big, I guess my big point is. No, I don't think you do. The only time I think you would need it, depending on where you have it, is if it's up against your plates. But if you're slamming into something hard enough to where your nods are going to break your plates, you're probably not going to be worried about your nods being broken right there at the moment. So take that into consideration too. Again, like I said... You guys can see my hideous face for a second. If you want protection from the bottom, which I do think is probably a good idea and something I'm going to try, what you can do is take this long side, cut it. Essentially, you're going to make an L. Let's see if I can show you. Kind of like that. And this will be sticking straight up. But you'll have an L. This will be protecting from the bottom, and this will be protecting the front. Easy way to protect your nods. Dirt cheap, guys. Uh, a lot of people are going to try to sell you, you know, nods protection cases and they're going to be like or pouches and like $65 don't waste your money get a canteen pouch get a m60 or some type of linked ammo pouch get you one of these eagle industries night vision protection inserts for like 10 bucks okay this is freaking aor2 and it was like 10 bucks like they're dirt cheap and do it that way don't waste your money it's buying an expensive uh pouch that's going to do the exact same thing or one of those shitty spurious inserts that's literally just like having a fucking will be over your nods all right guys bye